The multi-million dollar compensation package for taxi licence holders could be blocked by the state opposition. The Liberals and Nationals are opposed to a $2 levy being added to every cab fare or Uber ride. London-style black cabs are set to hit Melbourne streets, provided Transport Minister Jacinda Allen's taxi compensation package gets through Parliament. Look, we've got a couple of hundred cars ready to go um, in a garage. Uh, and look, as soon as the legisl legislation passes, we'll be able to get on the road. But the opposition is against the $2 a ride levy that will pay out taxi licence holders $100,000 for a first licence. And the coalition plans to vote against the bill in the upper house, where Labor doesn't have a majority. Jacinta Allen's rushing through legislation that now may be blocked. I mean, is a complete and total balls up. And the Taxi Association is worried the $2 tax could be indefinite and hurt low-income passengers. I think the impact is quite disastrous, mostly because of the impact on passengers. Um, we simply cannot support a tax. But blocking the levy will block the compensation to licence holders. They deserve a fair go and that is why we are introducing into the legislation a $2 levy. The Andrews government is also under pressure from the union movement to dump private companies from running public transport and to return the system to public ownership. The Rail, Tram and Bus Union says private companies have moved $350 million in profit overseas in just seven years. With that $350 million worth of profit, we could be spending that money on health, education or to fix up our own public transport. Brendan Donoghue, 7 News.